Hey, what's going on guys? Black Mombi here. I wanted to show you guys some gameplay and stuff you can use for Grand Arena Championships now that ships are going into the picture. Sith Empire, or just Sith ships in general, can take out Millennium Falcon and Rebels, just like straight up. And so then you can put your Millennium Falcon on defense if you want. Um, this is if you don't have Negotiator or you're not going to get um, Malevolence. So if you're trying to find out a team and what to use for strategy-wise, uh, this is the team for you. So Sith Empire, or Sith Ships, I only have Relic 7 Marauder as the crazy high relic. The rest are either Relic 1 or Gear 12. And if you don't know the... And this is no right side pieces palp with only one Zeta. And then Vader is no Zetas with no right side pieces on his gear 12 gear. If you don't know the kits, I'd recommend pausing the video and looking them up first before you watch the gameplay. As you'll need to understand how this works in order to be able to do this. So... Here's the first video for you. I wanted to provide gameplay that doesn't include Bosk. Uh, so if you wanted to use Hound's Tooth on your Millennium Falcon team, that way you can still do that. So the starting lineup is B2, Sith Fighter, and TIE Advanced. And basically you want to go underneath the protection on the opposing Bosk, the Hound's Tooth, and just take him out first if you can. Uh, the other two ships don't really matter. I was kind of just figuring out, well, what can I, what can I use that have very little impact to the outcome? So obviously, if you use better ships than my other two reinforcements, then it's even better chances for you. So opening up, Falcon will always go first and use his AOE, and then so that gets taunt on B two, and then you can just take out uh, a weak ship if it's available, like like that. Um, putting bombs is always a good suggestion because it allows you to get protection back and health back on B-28 bomber. And then you kind of just go underneath the extra bonus protection for Bosk and take him out. And then uh, the foresight and armor pin that Sith Fighter grants to the rest of the team is pretty important as the survivability that she grants the rest of her Sith ship allies is pretty huge. And then Bosk pretty much isn't really a big problem when it comes to Sith fighter being alive. And that pr the purple protection you see is from Palp's shuttle whenever uh, the Sith are critted. They grant that extra bonus protection, which is huge. And so that's pretty much the end of that one pretty quick. The outcome is pretty obvious on that. This battle is versus a crazy Millennium Falcon team. So Relic 5 on both, Gear 12, Phoenix with Zetas, Relic 4 with both Zeta um, Bosk. And so I have a Gear 13, only Relic 1 Bosk. So my Bosk is not as powerful as his. <clears throat> but when you come across a extremely hard or high Relic Rebel team, you actually need to put Bosk in this lineup. And then you put Vader in the reinforcements. And so this is kind of how this works on this area. And then you can, if you want to put a full rebel team on defense for GAC, that would work a bit better. The AI will always go for Sith fighter just because her ship is the weakest of the rest. And that's kind of how the AI plays that. But as you'll see here, B-28 bomber at Relic 7 Marauder is insane. The amount of health and protection gained back is absurd. It's, it's bit, and having both B 20 Bomber and Hound's Tooth on the same team is just the tankiness is nuts. Um, as for Arena, I was able to climb all the way to first through all these rebel ships. Uh, it's it's obviously not as easy as a Millennium Falcon team. Uh, I'm not going to play the card that it's so much easier. As you might see in this battle, it's the, <laughs> the outcome is 
pretty wild. <clears throat> but the cool thing about Thrawn ship is that Annihilate ability totally changes the course of, of this game, of this match. And so when Sith Fighter dies, it's pretty... It gets pretty hard because you can't get underneath that protection. And so uh, I'm not suggesting you relic your Sith assassin. Uh, but if you're really into ships and you're trying to find a team that isn't Galactic Republic, isn't Separatist, and you're trying to beat the Rebels and keep your Rebels for defense, if you're really trying to go that hard, <laughs> I recommend the uh, Sith fighter relic or Sith Assassin Relic, is it will improve her health and damage and so forth and speed. Uh, but other than that, I would not suggest <laughs> relicking Sith Empire beyond the key characters. But watch, look at this, both red. So I heal B-28 Bomber and then assassinate Bosk and heal my Bosk. It's just the outcome completely swaps on this. And so... Pretty crazy. And imagine if Sith got a capital ship. If Sith got a capital ship, they could easily become a top tier team. I mean, this is Thrawn's ship. So if they got, I don't know, like Nihilus's capital ship or or just anything Sith related, it'd be a pretty different outcome. I'm, I'm hoping they, they bring that to... Uh, the game soon. I mean, they mentioned bringing in Malevolence and some other capital ships to give us the opportunity to go for different types of fleets. If they bring a Sith capital ship, man, would I be stoked. And if you see here, look how much Palp survived. That's that bonus protection from crits that he gets. Uh, I mean, if, and if I had gear 13 Palp or better than uh, gear 9 Royal Guard, the outcome would have been totally different. Palp might have lived on that. But um, I'm really out relic in this battle, and it's still the outcome is a victory, which is pretty crazy. It may look like I'm not going to win here, but uh, of course, Hound's Tooth is just a beast of a ship. So, and again, I, I added ships that don't have a huge impact. I mean, look at look at the health and protection of my Vulture Droid. It's... <laughs> it's four star and obviously there's no characters to it so it's pretty uh self-explanatory so i'm not going to trouble you with the one-on-one -on -one. i pretty much just stall until i have another annihilate and win that way and so here's another battle with just the regular ships uh so the ships and i'm trying to figure out you know like what can i add that have no major impact and this battle pretty much shows how quickly you can take out Bosk. So watch watch Hound's Tooth on the opposing on the opposing team. It's it's literally he has like one or one or two turns and he's already dead. So I'm um, underneath the health and protection, which grants foresight and armor pen for my Sith bomber. Heal up, give offense up, defense down. I take away his bonus protection auto. He's already in the yellow. And then I use the special on Sith Fighter. And the Sith Fighter special does more damage to enemies below 50% health. So that's what that does. Um, and B-20 Bomber's already, <coughs> already dead. Which is unfortunate, but you can still win without it. Uh, just going to heal up Sith Fighter as that's the most key character. And watch how much damage Vader at gear 12. This is gear 12 Vader. Watch this. Boom. One shot. And so it's pretty, pretty spectacular how much damage this team can do. And how much survivability they have if B-28 Bomber lives. And if Palpatine is still in the mix. And so I'm not going to trouble you with the rest of the video. It's pretty self-explanatory on the outcome of this. But um, yeah, I it's a very viable team, especially if they get a Sith capital ship. Uh, they're a pretty phenomenal team on offense. I wouldn't recommend leaving them in for defense on <clears throat> on uh, GAC, especially if your opponent keeps uh, Falcon. But if you want to climb an arena with 
Sith uh, ships, you can easily get to rank one. It's definitely not as easy as the Millennium Falcon or Galactic Republic or anything. But uh, hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.